Hey there, welcome back to How to Medicate and welcome to this new video where we will cover the most common causes of a low testosterone. For those of you I'm meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewer, because I believe that medically educated people make healthier decisions, which is the whole point of this channel. This video also comes with a quick disclaimer. It's meant purely informative. This is not medical advice. And if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor. And now quickly, let's get started. Let's first start off with some background information on testosterone. Testosterone is the male sex hormone, and it contributes to the development of male genitals. And in later life, it plays a role in your libido, muscle mass, bone density, blood sugar, and metabolism. As you see, testosterone is involved in many different processes and therefore low testosterone can cause many different symptoms, among which are difficulty sleeping, low energy, loss of body hair, growth of breast tissue, erectile dysfunction, a lowering libido, reduced endurance when exercising, mental health problems and short-term memory loss. Which brings us to the most common causes of a low testosterone. Testosterone seems to peak in early adulthood and then slowly decreases over time. It's part of your natural aging process, losing about 1-2% to of your production each year. And this effect can become noticeable for men from their 50s and upwards. And while a lowering testosterone can be part of your natural aging process, it can also be caused by several underlying diseases or medical problems. Starting off by some dietary factors, among which eating too much soy, Soy food is in structure quite similar to estrogen, which is the female sex hormone, and high levels of estrogen is associated with low levels of testosterone. In addition, you should eat fat in moderation, as your body actually needs fat to produce testosterone. So if you would consume too little, this can contribute to lower levels of testosterone. Another contributing factor can be consuming too much bisphenol A. This is found in plastic, like plastic bottles. And the next cause of low testosterone levels is being overweight or even obese. This is especially important because your fat tissue can convert testosterone into estrogen, the female sex hormone. And again, high levels of estrogen will cause a lower production of testosterone. In addition, being overweight can increase your risk on developing diabetes, which is further associated with lower levels of testosterone. Next up is experiencing too much stress. You see, if you're stressed, your body releases all kinds of other hormones, like cortisol. And high levels of cortisol can indirectly lead to a decreased production of testosterone. And the same is true for sleeping too little, as little sleep is also associated with high levels of cortisol, again indirectly decreasing your testosterone. And the next cause is having too little sex. However, this is a bit of a downward spiral, as having too little sex can lead to a lower libido, leading to lower levels of testosterone, further decreasing your desire for sexual contact. A shocking cause of low testosterone, for those of you who like to party, is the consumption of alcohol. As you hopefully know, consuming too much alcohol is unhealthy for several reasons. But one of them is that it can increase your chances on becoming overweight, and it can more easily lead to several insufficiencies in your nutrients both potentially leading to low levels of testosterone. Furthermore, for those of you who especially drink beers, they contain hops, which are also estrogenic, further contributing to lower levels of testosterone. Then there are multiple medical conditions that can lead to lower levels of testosterone. Among them are some chronic illnesses, delayed puberty, testicular damage through trauma, infections or testicular cancer, and some genetic diseases such as Kleinfelter syndrome. And lastly, various medical treatments can contribute to lower levels of testosterone. Just to name a few, chemotherapy, radiation treatment for cancer, hormone therapy and corticosteroid drugs. Now I hope this video was helpful, but if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. For those of you who want to keep learning, check out the playlist I will put up there or in the description. Now all that rests me is to thank my sponsors on Patreon, thank you Sebastian who is an investor to supporter and thank all of you for watching. But before you go, please leave a like, this will help out the channel tremendously and consider subscribing. I'm trying to reach 10k subscribers before the end of the year and you could help me with it. Thank you all and as always, I will see you next week with a new video. Bye bye.